So a DIY creamy clay wash. Here are all the ingredients. Everything will be listed below in the description box. If I could do this all over again, I would use more of the rinse out conditioner and less of the shea butter. Conditioner, two more of the conditioner. Ugh. Two. Uh, mm. Quite a bit of coconut oil. Half a tablespoon of Jamaican black castor oil. You can use regular castor oil. Um, one teaspoon of argan oil. One teaspoon of grapeseed oil. And I think that's one fourth of a cup of almond oil left in here, but we're going to do, I think a cap full of this will be a tablespoon. I have a plastic spatula. You don't want to use metal because of the charges. It'll, it, it, basically the clay won't be as effective. So this is one heaping. I'm gonna sprinkle that on and I'm gonna whip this in like so. So what I'm hoping this will do, those of you who saw my review of Chocolate Kinky Curls, she has a creamy clay wash. It's the bomb, it, it's, it's beautiful. And it smells like chocolate. It's a great product. I'm hoping that this would be similar to that. Um, if I had glycerin, I would add glycerin, but I don't have glycerin. I do have aloe vera but I don't want to add that. I want to do this just with, yeah. So this is what it's looking like. This will probably be enough for me for one usage. Um, yeah. Show you what the consistency looks like. Let's let that zoom. This is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> All right, so this is rice water that I'm actually spraying on my hair and I actually sprayed it on in sections so you just didn't see it. Now I'm going to apply a plastic cap and leave this on my hair for two hours. Well, girl, who told me to do this? <laughs> I know a lot of people suggested this, but about two or three of you suggested this. I have been in the shower for 15 minutes trying to rinse this stuff out of my hair. Um, my hair is extremely soft, but it is greasy. You probably can't even see that. At this point, I'm gonna have to shampoo, cleanse my hair, and then do some more conditioner. It's getting frizzy. When I first tried to wash it out and jump out the shower, and I jumped out the shower to look at it, my hair was white and it was coated. Um, my curls were popping though. You can kind of see it on this side. I mean, the curls were hella defined. I know a couple of people like, why did you do all that? Why don't you just use the, um, the uh, clay by itself? I have done that, girl. I've done a clay wash, and I've actually done a shea butter uh, DIY shape with a deep conditioner. Again, I was trying to do a replicate a hair product sold by um, Chocolate Kinky Curls. Hey, yeah, her clay wash at least. And yeah, uh-uh. No, it's soft, it's really soft. 
So this is a pass. Now I would possibly recommend, let me, let me back up. I would not recommend this for people, for those of you who have my density and texture. But I think that if you have, if you don't have as much hair as I do, and if you have a looser curl pattern, this will be okay. But girl, my hair feels heavy and it feels greasy. Um, and I think it's the combination of the clay with the shea butter. Cause like I said before, when I done a shea butter deep conditioner, it was fabulous and it rinsed out great. But the clay is what's adhering to my hair and then it's heavy because of that. So you live and you learn girl. So that I thought I owe it to you guys to come back on cam real quick. My hair is hella soft and moisturized. Excuse the foggy glasses. This is what I would recommend. <laughs> Do the um, mask first, then shampoo and condition. Yes. Look at, it's like moisture overload and this is a side. I love it. Now, I don't think I will be trying this again because I have a lot of hair and it took literally forever to wash it all out. But that's only because I was washing out, well, I did a conditioner. Maybe I'll do it again and use more conditioner and less of the clay, clay itself. All right, you guys, take care.